In this episode of Film Stock Reviews, I'm reviewing episode four of Chucky. Now, this episode starts right off after where we left off with episode three called I Like to Be Hugged, where a fire happened at the mayor's mansion and after Lexi threw a house party and the ramifications from that. We see Jake go to the hospital to see what happened and if everyone's okay. And he finds out that Lexi is still alive and Chucky actually didn't kill her. So over the course of the episode, Jake finds out that Lexi believes him and that Chucky is real and trying to kill her. Lexi wants to find out why. Well, Jake actually tells her why and almost actually kills her himself. Uh, they actually go back to the house to find Chucky and surprisingly, he actually is still there, which I didn't expect to happen. But the way they show Chucky and the way he is burned in this episode is really interesting and different. The makeup, the way the effects were done, and the look of Chucky in this episode was really creepy, but also intricate and different than what you see in any of the movies that you've seen before. And over the course of the episode, we find out that certain things are happening with the parents of the kids, how there is one scene where uh, the parents of Junior, Lexi's parents, and the cop are in this one setting in the hospital at the waiting room and they're all talking and they're all fighting. It's such a great scene back and forth and it's really well done. Seeing the interesting detail of how things are done between the parents and how the parents are affected by what Chucky's doing is really taking a toll on everything. And over the course of this episode we find out that also a backstory where in 1972 we find out he's at a boarding school in 1972 and he's reading Peter Pan to these three kids and they go off on an adventure to Neverland and they f something happens. The interesting thing about this episode is that we are introduced to Caputo. Now if that name sounds familiar then you know who exactly Caputo is in the Chucky universe of movies. He is a young boy in this but of course him and Charles Lee Ray are friends. And we find out that Devin does some research himself. The teenager who's doing that podcast about true crime. He basically finds out what Charles Lee Ray is, who Chucky is, and the whole aspect of what's happening and why Chucky's doing what he's doing. And all the while, Chucky, of course, does kill someone in this episode, but it's not until near the end of the episode. But the way he does it in a manner is just so brutal and interesting that it's crazy. But this character did have it coming to them when they were first introduced in this series. And it's fitting because just the way things were done was just weird and seeing the puppeteers and the the way the Chucky puppet looked close up was really creepy it was definitely not you know CGI it was definitely animatronic puppets doing the acting for the doll in this scene and all the while people don't know what's happening but only now Devin and Lexi and even Jake know what's happening and Chucky the parents are clueless to what's happening and nobody else knows what's going on so it's interesting to see that Things are turning right now in this series. People are starting to believe that Chucky is actually real and he's actually doing things and killing. But now Jake must stop and put an end to everything. This episode was really good. I did like it because it has a lot of car callbacks to Halloween 2 where the setting is in a hospital. And even in, from The Shining where there's a scene where a little ball is rolled down a hallway. There's many scenes of certain callbacks to certain, you know, old classic, you know, movies from the 60s and 70s. And it's really, really good. I love the callback to Halloween 2 and The Shining, which was a really nice touch by Don Mancini. It actually worked really well. So I'm curious to see where this goes from here, because this is just episode four, like I said. And this series is really fantastic. We're getting what Chucky is doing now. And remember, not only, if you remember Call of Chucky, he was able to put his soul into different dolls. He even put his soul into Nika. So I'm curious to see how many things are playing a role in this and what happens. And of course we know Tiffany is the mastermind behind it all, but why? Why is she the mastermind behind this, you know? That's my opinion, that's what I think. I think she's the mastermind behind it, unless someone else is so-called, no pun intended, pulling the strings of everything in this operation, but we will see. Let me know in the comment section below what you thought about episode four of Chucky, Just Let Go. Did you like it, did you not like it? What did you think of it? And what do you think 
And where is everything going to go now? And like I stated before, I'm very curious to see what happens because Chucky was barely seen in this episode, which was good. And when he was shown and seen, it was just creepy and weird. So let me know in the comment section below on your thoughts about this episode. And I'll see you guys in the next review video.